Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Black Friday is definitely upon us and it's actually looking like a really good time to build a custom gaming PC. So I've been having a look at a lot of different deals going on and it looks like Newegg has uh, deals on basically everything. So in this video, I figured I'd go ahead and put together a suggested build and we're actually going to be doing two here. I've tried to come up with some of the best combos for the lowest price, uh, and keep in mind that all of these will be Black Friday deals. If you're interested in putting any of this together, I will leave links in the description. But we're going to go ahead and get started here with the Intel build. And when it comes to one of the main components you need to choose, the CPU, an awesome option right now, especially given the price, is the Intel Core i5-12600KF. This is a really powerful 10 core, 16 thread CPU, and we've got a max turbo frequency on the performance cores up to 4.9 gigahertz. And with this, we've got 10 cores, 16 threads, six performance cores, four efficiency cores. And I've actually done a few builds with the 12600K over here on the channel. It is an awesome performer as long as you pair it up with the correct GPU. And you know, when it comes to GPUs, we've actually got a lot of options but we've still got a little more that we need to add to a build. We can't just set the CPU on the desk and plug our monitor into it. So we will need a motherboard to go along with this. And right now, Newegg is actually running a deal on the ASUS Tough Gaming Z690+. Plus. This does have integrated Wi-Fi. It supports DDR5, PCIe 5.0. And the board itself does have Thunderbolt 4 built in. And this is an ATX sized motherboard, so you will need a larger case to fit this. Now, uh, I would love to go mini ITX with this, but the mini ITX board prices for newer Intel and AMD chips are kind of ridiculous. Recently, I've actually been going the ATX route due to the pricing, and uh, we'll have plenty of room in something like the Fantex Eclipse G300A, and this is actually one of my favorite cases, at least the white version, but right now, it's only $40 with the tempered glass side panel over on Newegg's website. And this will support that ATX motherboard. It'll also support a 360 millimeter AIO up front or a 240 on top. And at $40, it's really hard to beat something like this. And with all of these, make sure you look for another little deal here. You can actually get $5 off with a promo code, bringing this down to 35 bucks, which is an awesome deal for the G300A. Absolutely love this case here. And this has a single fan in the back. Or you could bump the price up a little bit and get those triple fans. But given the AIO cooler options that we have for this case here, I think that's going to draw more than enough air in here. Now we've got the Intel CPU, motherboard, and case handled. And of course, we will need to add RAM storage and a power supply. But before we move over to that, I wanted to show you the combo that I was suggesting for AMD. Because that RAM storage and power supply will work with both of these builds here. And when it comes to a newer Ryzen build, I would highly suggest building with AM5, but you could go back to AM4 if you wanted to. But right now, Newegg has most of the 7000 series CPUs on sale, and one of the best deals that I've found so far is the Ryzen 5 7600X. Now, we've only got 6 cores and 12 threads here, but it is a pretty amazing chip because it's using Zen 4 cores, and they really put down the power. Since we've got that X variant, very easy to overclock. Coming in with a base of 4.7 GHz and a boost up to 5.3, you can definitely get all of your gaming out of the way on this. Now, if you wanted a few more cores, you could move up to the Ryzen 7 7700X, but instead of 219, it's an extra $100 coming in at 319. And to tell you the truth, I mean, with the performance difference when it comes to gaming, that 6 core, 12 thread 7600X is going to be more than enough for a lot of people. And if you did opt for the AMD build, obviously you'll need a different motherboard, and we'll need an AM5 socket motherboard. They've got the ASRock B650M HDV right now for 109. This is a micro ATX form factor. It'll still fit in that Eclipse case, and that's the case I would also recommend for the uh, AMD build here. PCIe 4.0 X16 slots. Obviously, since it's AM5, we do need DDR5 RAM, and it'll support up to 6400 plus, so we can do some overclocking there. And again, taking a look at that case, the Fantex Eclipse G300A is great but they've got a bunch of different cases in their Black Friday deal section. So, you know, if you don't like the look of this one, there are others. But again, for the price, it's really hard to beat something like this. Now, again, whether you choose an Intel or an AMD build, we still have to add RAM, storage, and a power supply. When it comes to RAM, both of the suggested motherboards do support DDR5. And right now, they've got the Crucial Pro 32 gigabyte kit over on Newegg for $67. You can go with 16 gigs if you want to. You will get out a bit cheaper, but about the cheapest one I saw was 52 
and going from 16 to 32 gigs for less than 20 bucks is well worth it in my opinion. Again, this will work with both boards, and this runs at 5600 mega transfers per second. Storage is also going to be really important, so I would suggest something like an M.2 1TB drive. This is a PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD from MSI, and uh, you can go up in storage if you want, but price will increase. 1TB starting off is great, and both of the motherboard choices for the Intel and the AMD build also have extra M.2 slots so you can upgrade down the road, or you could go with some SATA drives if you wanted to. You'd have more than enough room inside of that Eclipse case. We're also going to need a way to power everything, and I've actually used this same power supply in the past. It's not fully modular, but you will pay more for a fully modular power supply. This is coming in at 600 watts. It's the Thermaltake Smart. We've got more than enough power and connections for a pretty beefy GPU, whether you want to go Intel or AMD, and this will power both of those systems without any issues whatsoever. And finally, for the base of the gaming rig, we're going to need a way to cool either of those CPUs, Intel or AMD. Now you can go with the 240mm AIO, right now they've got the Deepcool LS520SE for $89. This will fit in the top of that Eclipse case, no problem at all, you could also put it up front if you wanted to. But for a few more dollars, you can go with the MSI Mag Core 360R. This is the version 2, 360mm AIO, which is going to fit right up front in that case. $99 Black Friday deal, plus you get a rebate, so after it's all said and done, you're only paying $89. I've used this in a 7700X build without any issues whatsoever. In my opinion, it's a really nice 360mm AIO, and it's going to give us a little headroom if we want to do some overclocking with an AMD or an Intel build. So I would really suggest going with the 360, but if you didn't want to go liquid cooled for whatever reason, and I completely understand, less moving parts, good old go to is the Cooler Master Hyper 212. This is the black edition. $39, and with all of these part sections, I will leave links in the description in case you want to choose something else for, let's say, an air cooler. They have a ton to choose from in their Black Friday deals, but this is the one that caught my eye given it's coming in at $40, and this is kind of a tried and true cooler. It'll work perfectly for both of those chips. So with everything I've listed so far, we've got the full base of a gaming PC completed, be it Intel or an AMD build. But in order to really game on any of these systems, we will need a dedicated GPU. And Newegg right now actually has a GPU trade-in program, so if you're working with something a little older, you can actually trade in your GPU. They do give us a basic price list right here, from the NVIDIA GPUs to the AMD GPUs. And if you've got an older, let's say, RTX 2060, $104 estimated trade-in value. Let's say you've got an RX 6500 XT, $89 estimated trade-in. And you can find a new GPU right here, put the uh, trade-in value right up to the new GPU. So if you're interested in learning a little more about the Newegg GPU trade-in program, I'll leave a link in the description. But I did pick out some of these Black Friday deals, and one on the top of my list would be the Radeon RX 7600. This is the non-XT variant. This is the Core Edition, 239, 8 gigs of GDDR6, a boost clock of 2,655 megahertz. And it's going to fit right in that case, whether you want to go AMD or Intel. Really good card. And uh, a lot of the stuff, you know, at 1440p high settings is going to work great on the 7600. This is, in my opinion, more of an ultra 1080p card. But you can definitely get away with some 1440p. And really old games, you can go up to 4K with it. Next on the list would be the tried and true RTX 3060. 8 gigs of GDDR6. We've seen this time and time again perform absolutely amazingly. It's the 3060 non-TI variant, $249, $20 rebate, bringing it down to $221. Now that's if you want to get out a little cheaper and go NVIDIA. If you don't mind spending a little more money, I would definitely recommend the RX 7700 XT. This is one that I've actually been using in my main rig for the past few weeks. 12 gigs of GDDR6. And yeah, this is a great 1440p card. This is the ASRock Challenger version but price is a bit high when you compare it to the lower end cards coming in at 429. And if you wanted to take it up a bit more, they've got a lot of Nvidia RTX 4070s on sale. 514 right now for the Twin Edge Zotac Gaming Edition, 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X RAM, and this is an amazing performer. I've been able to get away with some 4K high on a lot of the newer AAA games with the 4070, and it's not even the TI variant. 
And finally, if you want to be a little experimental, Intel actually just launched their Arc A580, and I will have a video coming up on this. We've got 8 gigs of GDDR6. It's not going to perform on par with the A750 or obviously the A770, but at 169, this could be a really good Ultra 1080p card. Now, I will have my hands on one in the next week or so, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. I definitely want to see what this card's all about. But again, this isn't something I'd recommend right now until I can get my hands on it and test it, unless you don't mind being a little experimental. So yeah, those are my two suggestions from the New Egg Black Friday sale, whether you want to go Intel or AMD. And remember, they've got that GPU trade-in program. You might have something laying around you can get a few extra bucks for. But I will leave links to everything I mentioned, plus a few extras down below. And if you run across any other great deals over on New Egg, let me know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.